Hello, welcome back to my channel, Thriving Not Just Surviving. I'm your host, Charlie Henry. If you're new here, this is a lifestyle channel where I discuss health, fitness, supplementation, wellness, nutrition, skincare, the kind of things which help you to live your best life and to thrive and not just survive. On today's episode, I would like to talk about my evening skincare routine. Following off the back of the last video that I did about red light therapy, I would just like to talk to you about how I incorporate that red light therapy into my evening skincare routine, what kind of products I use, and how I do the entire thing to give myself the best glowing skin possible. Let's get started. First of all, I just use a basic, um, I'm using Lancome Bifacial um, Makeup Remover to take off all of my makeup. The reason I like this one is that um, it's very soft on the eyes. I don't want to use any products which are gonna drag across my eyes and cause any loosening of the skin um, when it's already getting looser as I'm getting older. So I'm just gonna take off all my makeup. Believe it or not, I'm not actually the kind of person who wears makeup every day, <laughs> but I do like to wear it, especially when I'm feeling Okay, I think that's pretty good. Right, now. Next, I use the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I will be linking to all of these products in the description below. And the reason I use the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser is because it's very gentle on the skin. It doesn't strip the it doesn't strip the natural lubrication oil from the skin. Um, our skin does have a natural microbiome, and I really want to um, leave that alone as much as possible and not disturb it too much. So yeah, this is a cleanser which is recommended by dermatologists as being one that is very gentle and doesn't strip off all of the natural protection that your skin has. Right, next step is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I absolutely love this product. Um, if I'm totally honest, when I was younger, I was one of those people who thought it was very, very minimalist with my, with my skincare routine. I was very no nonsense, very no fuss. I just thought a cleanser and a moisturizer was enough, and I never used to, uh, I never used to understand why people even bothered with a toner. But since I started using this product, I've seen a big difference. It really just gives my skin a healthy glow. Um, it's got a slight um, acidic quality, which takes off the dead skin cells and. It also makes sure my skin is completely clean, takes off any residual makeup, any residual kind of pollution that might be hanging around my skin. So it means that, you know, once your skin is completely clear, your skin cells are better able to absorb all of the goodness from the moisturizer or any other products that you're gonna put on after that. So now I'm a firm believer in toner and, you know, this product uh, is, has been a game changer for me. So I always make sure I get under the neck as well, because as I mentioned, this is kind of exfoliating and taking off some of those dead skin cells. So it's gonna um, make, give a kind of boost and an anti-aging effect to the entire face and all of the skin, including the neck area, the under the chin area. And you can see already, I mean, I know obviously it's my skin is now down, but already there's a slight glow. That is the glycolic toning solution. That's the beauty of what it does. It's a fantastic product. Right, and next, and this is now when I'm preparing myself for the red light therapy. I'm gonna be using the My Summer Green Rovers Pressed Serum. Um, again, I'll include a link. What this My Summer does, and I just use one pump. One pump. Rub it into my skin and my neck. Now this My Summer Green Rubus Press Serum has been proven to double the effectiveness of the red light therapy. Basically, if you use red light therapy alone, you're already getting an anti-aging effect in terms of diminishing wrinkles, diminishing fine lines, increasing skin firmness and skin tightness. But they've had this scientifically tested, and I'll share the results with you because they are on the website. 
people who use this serum found that um, their, the diminishment of their fine lines and wrinkles was more than if they just did the red light by itself. So that's why I use this. Once you put one pump on your skin, you then need to wait about 15, 20 minutes for it to sink in. So um, I'm gonna do that now and then see you in a moment. Now that the serum has sunken in, I am going to sit in front of my red light for 15 minutes. I can't film that because I'm gonna take all my clothes off. And if you want to see exactly how I do my red light setup, I will link to my previous video in which I explain everything. Okay, I'm back. I'm not sure if you can see, but after that, my skin is slightly flushed. The blood vessels are really engorged. My pores are open. Um, my skin feels a little bit tighter. My skin is really primed to absorb as much as possible of the products that I use next. So it's the, it's the right time for me now to use my Dermatica Tretinoin Cream. Um, this basically a little bit goes a long way, so I'm just gonna do two pumps and then spread it all over my skin. What this does, it incre increases collagen production and it's proven to reduce the fine lines and wrinkles I've noticed that since I started using it, I've been using it for almost a year now, my pores have really shrunk and enlarged pores are one of the signs of aging skin. So I'm really happy that it's had that effect. My skin has really become much clearer and smoother and um, with a more even texture. Now after putting on the Dermatica, I need to wait for one more minute for it to sink in before putting on my next product. Last step is Weleda Skin Food Light. I absolutely love this product. Um, it is all natural, it contains all natural organic ingredients and I can really feel the difference with using natural products on my skin. It feels like my skin just recognizes natural products better than these kind of synthetic junky products. And it's got a lovely, um, lemony kind of smell. My kids absolutely love it when I've used it. They always say they recognize the smell and it reminds them of mum. So I'm just gonna put that all over my skin and my neck. This product sinks in really, really easily. I also use a thicker one for my hands. I think in a future video I am gonna do a hand cream comparison of different hand creams that I love. And the thicker Waleda one, the, the skin food, um, the heavier skin food is one of my favorites. But yeah, that is it. So that's my evening skincare routine. Um, I can accept that it does take a little bit of time. Um, but I truly think it's worth it. I've noticed a big difference since I've started paying more attention to my skincare. And I think as you get older, you really do need to take a little bit more time and care. I mean, really, I should have been doing it since I was younger as well. <laughs> it's one of my regrets. I wish I'd been doing it from, from my 20s, but at least I'm doing it now. So um, I'd love to hear what you think. Um, how does this differ from your skincare routine? Do you have any questions? Do you have any comments or suggestions? Um, I am going to link to the previous video that I did on red light therapy so you can see exactly my setup there and I'll also link to all of the products that I've used in the description below. If you're enjoying my content and you're getting a lot out of it, please hit like, please hit subscribe and also hit the notification bell. That will tell YouTube algorithms to tell you when there's a um, video coming up and it will mean that my videos come up in your feed so it just kind of affects the YouTube algorithms really favorably. Um, thank you so much for watching. I've really enjoyed sharing my skincare routine with you today. I am going to do another video in the future going through my daytime skincare routine, my morning one, which is quite different. So stick around for that and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye.